place dancers and uh, Taller's men, starting with the OSP. Well, Ted, suffice to say that the 9,000 people here in Halifax are making more noise than the audience in Leningrad last month at the European Championship. Today we'll be watching the OSP, which is an original set pattern dance done to the tempo of samba. Many people feel that it's a non-event because nobody ever moves up. Is that true? Well, you might not see a lot of movement in the march, Taller, but you're going to see a lot of movement on the ice. The samba is a lilting, rhythmic tempo, and the skaters are going to be going all out to get that across to the audience. This will get the ball rolling for tomorrow for the free dancers. Looking forward to it. And still ahead tonight, our main focus on two men. This is Viktor Petrenko from the Soviet Union. He is standing first, and there's a relaxed Kurt Browning with his coach, Michael Uranik. He is standing second as they'll go head-to-head -to -head for gold in the men's free skating later tonight. Smith. Joanne and Martin were very, very steady and skated to eighth place in the compulsories. Canada's top placing was eighth last year at the World Championship. They're from the Granite Club in Toronto, and Tracy's partner Rob McCall last summer helped work on their choreography. Canada's reigning dance champion. Well, they're skating first in a serious group of skaters, and I can already feel the building heating up. They've chosen to do quite a difficult OSP. It's packed with tricky footwork and a lot of position changes. a little slip but they don't really miss a step then it would be point one or point two if it's a major fall where they're missing say a quarter of a sequence they can be knocked down point five present themselves very well too, Tracy. Yes, they do, like Collar said. You'd think they've been around at the World Championships for many years. Canada's new ice dance champions, Joanne Berlays and Martin Smith. And this crowd, of course, is very partisan, although it's extremely fair. Got a right to be partisan, and they're getting a marvelous round. They're the first of the two Canadian couples to skate in this OSP. Ted, Canadians love skating at home, but it's interesting because the Soviets always tell me that they love performing in Canada. They say they always get a good response, a fair response. 
Marks for Joanne Morgan. So they're getting the marks out very quickly. And here's their first set of marks. For La Composition. Five threes. Another five three from the Canadian judge there. Judge number eight, Jane Garden. And they are the first in this, which is one of the top groups. But those are the highest marks that we have seen so far. They were eight in the compulsory. We would expect their marks to be the highest we have seen. And they really are so far. Let's see if they go up just a little bit. Thank you. For their second set of marks. Thank you. Three five Thank threes you. in there in this first no, grouping. For presentation. Well, there is a five zero five down there, but they got one five more three, five three. I think they'll be happy with that five at the three, present time. That puts them in front. But of course, five there are still nine two, more couples five to skate. Three, five two. Thank you. Our competitors of the second year representing Canada: Jujanda, Michelle Lacroix, and Mark Mitchell. Here's another of those BC Maritimes combinations for Canada. Well, it certainly worked for Tracy and Rob. Michelle was born in Abbotsford in BC's Fraser Valley. Mark was born right here in Halifax. They train in Kitchener, second to the Canadians, tenth after the compulsory dance. Whoa, look at her move. Well, this is the bite that I was talking about that I think that I've lost in the, in the, in the other pair that we just saw. This should be uh, a great cloud crowd pleaser and should also be a vehicle for them to pull up if that's possible. Michelle and Mark are just out there having fun going for the damn expression, where Mark and Joanne, their program was a little more technically difficult. I guess that really is the difference, because one had the rhythm and perhaps the expression more, which I, I felt this one did, and the other one, on, as far as skating terms go, was a little more complicated, and so I, I, I guess it really is a split decision. We'll sit on the fence on this one. Well, they had been in 10th place after their compulsory dance, while their teammates, Borlase and Smith, were in 8th place. So, Borlase and Smith picked up marks of 5-1 was their lowest, and 5-3 their highest right across. We'll see how these two do. Well, I'm going to stick my neck out on the block, and I have the feeling that the judges are really going to go for Joanne and Martin, but I would probably give my vote, if it were between the two couples, to this one because they were actually able to capture the rhythm a little bit more. Well, here are the marks coming out, and I don't think that they're going to be quite as high. No, the first group of marks not quite as high as those picked up by their teammates. Five one. Canadian five judge one, gave their teammates 5-3, five five and here it's a 5-2. Five five two. Two. And you can't give 5-2.5, so... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would uh, doubt if their second group of marks would be much thank higher. Than I, think the marks higher. Are accurate. I think the marks are accurate. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Here's the presentation, our artistic marks. There's a 5-4 there. Again, the Canadian judge with a 5-2. Those two judges did put them in first place. They are behind their teammates. And right now, Borlais and Smith are in first place. McDonald and Mitchell are in second. There are still eight couples escape. 5-2. Second in the world last year. Second here after the compulsory. The Bolshoi trained Maya Yosova and her husband Alexander Zulin skating for the Soviet Union. Every judge will be watching this performance very carefully because if there's a possibility of the quality of the belt to change to actually climb up, it is this performance that they have to beat. This couple was a big surprise last year when they came on the world scene. They came to their first world championship and came second. Very unusual. pretty pleased with what went on here and there are Soviet flags in the crowd as well as they skate off the white ice and await their marks. They were second of course after compulsory figures second to the world champions Klimova and Ponomarenko. Something which is a little depressing for me is in the previous couple which we did not see Ingi Toth who are in fourth position they actually fell down but they still got very very high marks right up to a 5-7 so that makes me think that the mark is almost given before the skaters are even performing the performance. So we'll see what the marks are here, but I think we're going to be seeing five eights. Well, here come the first group of marks. And we have got uh, one five eight, two five eights for their first group of marks. They are the highest marks that we have seen so far. Remember, the world champions skate after them and the detainees skate last in this grouping. But Tracy, if anything, this, these marks are not giveaway marks. I mean, they are, are not really what you would call the second place marks, you think? I, I think that uh, anybody can jump in over those marks. The judges have left a lot of room. <laughs> Now, the marks for presentation. Marks for presentation will go up. Yes, they do. Again, 5-8 in there. 5-7s and 5-8. 5-8 is the highest. Those are first place marks right across the board, but as Tracy pointed out, there is room there. 
They won the compulsory dance, the reigning world champions, after being second four times to Veskimanova and Vukin. Another husband and wife team, Marina Klamova and Sergei Ponomarenko. Having seen this particular one in practice, I think it's almost a foregone conclusion that they will win, but they will win for the right reasons. I think the skating skills are spectacular here. skated and far, far superior to the samba that I saw at the European Championships in Leningrad, which they did make a mistake. This looks pretty flawless to me. Well, if there is a definite challenge there because they're skating in Canada and those of the Cheney specifically are representing France, they are Canadians, I think this couple have come out and answered the challenge pretty well. As you say, Tyler, I think it was a far, far stronger, more stable performance than they showed us when they did win Europeans in Leningrad. And Ted, I think that's because there is a very real competition. And again, we mentioned it before, but it's important to mention again, there is not a Soviet judge here, which always means you get a little bit of help. Here, they've really got to fight for every mark they will get. Yusova's highest mark was a 5-8. And here now are coming the marks for Kolova Panamarenko. Look at that first set of marks. 5-9, 5-9, and then an 8, and then all the rest of them are 5-9. That being the case, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they pulled up at least 1-6 for their second set of marks. 5-9, 5-9, 5-9, 5-9. The one five eight that came up was from Finland. Canadian judge with a five nine. The Canadian judge on the panel is Jane Garden. Well, Natalia Dubrova on the right there is looking a lot happier than she has been earlier this week. And here comes the second set of marks. Still a five eight from Finland. Yes, there is a six pulled up from the Japanese judge. A perfect mark, a six, and that puts them in front all by themselves. Yusova and Zulin are second. As far as the Canadians are concerned, right now, Borlais and Smith are in sixth place. Two teams to go, and we'll be back after this. Halifax Metro Center. They have been called innovative, risk-takers, anti-establishment. She was born in Canada. He was born in France. They are the most exciting ice dancers in the world. They are, of course, the Deshaney's, Isabel and Paul. 
Right now, it's time for the original set pattern and ice dancing, and once again, here's Ted. Certainly the most talked about dance couple here. Canadians who skate for France, they're third here after the compulsory dance. They've got the best of both worlds. They're at home when they're in France and they're at home when they're in Canada. but they also uh, gave Wynn and Drew the Americans uh, pretty good marks. So let's see what they do to the Duchenne's. Well, look at those marks. I think that those are very, very good marks considering what they've received in the past. I think finally they have broken through on the judges. In their first set of marks, they've got five eights and five sevens, just one five six, which was from the Canadian judge which will certainly not make Jane Garden very popular. I want to see their second set of marks, as I think this panel of judges has just accepted the Duchenne's for what many people have been saying for a long time, that they really are. Here come their marks now for artistic impression. Look at that, a six, there's another six. And they have moved. I guess you're right, but interestingly enough, and I will be the most unpopular of all people here, I understood what the criticism was, I saw it very clearly, I can, I can definitely appreciate the performance value, but one must stick with the rules, and, and again, there was so much skating apart from each other that, that I, I, I found to be uh, flagrantly flaunting the, the system. Well, they have moved into second place ahead of Yusova and Zulin, behind Klamova, Ponomarenko, Borlase and Smith still eighth, McDonald Mitchell still tenth. We'll be back. 
to Shaney, born in Quebec. Paul, uh, if I can get you here, born in France, congratulations. You've finally broken through with the judges. Well, thanks, thanks. We have to thank the judges and most of all the people who supported us. Yes. They're yes. fantastic. Thank you, Canada. We needed you. Yes. yes. I can't say anything more. This the fans have always supported you. Tremendous support in Leningrad at the Europeans. Tremendous support here. Did you ever feel you were never going to break through? It was always an uphill fight. It's been an uphill fight so far. And it's not finished and yet. It's just, it's, it's going to get harder from now on. Now, you're skating for France. You're both Canadians. You're going to come home and live here after you're finished. Uh, still a special feeling to skate in Canada? Oh, yes. This is our... There's so many people we know, and it's so familiar. We... We did the 1981 Canadian Championships here. This is where we started our in career. In this rink. We never thought we'd come back here, really. It's, it's a great feeling to be home again. I mean, you can take the girl and the guy out of Canada, but you can't take Canada out of, of, out of us.